Today we're working in the garage and I'm gonna be showing you, how I'm gonna turn this into this. And yeah, we'll jump right into it. Alright guys, so a little backstory here. I did buy this Yak Gear crate on clearance at Cabela's for about 10 bucks when I bought my fishing kayak. And this is already all built together, so I don't have a video on me building this. But I'm going to be adding a top part for all of my plastics and it's going to be a little lid. So, yeah. So basically what I'm going to be doing is just taking this like $5 milk crate from Home Depot and I'm going to be cutting it right on the long top right there and then that'll leave me with a nice little tray to just have on the top for all of my plastics and little stuff that i want to put up there let's get to cutting all right guys so i just finished cutting this piece and now we got to sand the edge because it's really rough. This one side is super smooth now. Let's do it to the other four. Just like that, it's all smooth. All right guys, so I just ran it over the hose a little bit, got some of the little black particles off of it, and yeah, now we're ready to move on to the next step. That off is kind of useless now because obviously it can't hold anything anymore. All right, so now what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna make a little like net to catch everything so it doesn't fall out of the top, and yeah. The net, I'm gonna be using this pack of bungee cords, but we are gonna need to cut some holes in this. So yeah, let's do that. So you're gonna need a fourth inch drill bit to cut the holes for your bungees to pass through. So over 12 inches is my space in between bungees. So do a hole every three inches math baby it's all for that side I drilled an extra hole on the bottom so if there's any moisture that gets trapped down there it can air out a little bit easier with those extra holes all right we got all the holes drilled and now it is time to start beating the bungee through Actually, what you want to do is you want to get a lighter and you just want to hit the end so it doesn't fray. Otherwise, you'll have to go buy new bungees. So make sure you do that. So I just got the first bungee through and I basically just tied a knot at the end and like I, and do the little lighter thing. And yeah, that should keep the bungee from going back out. Let's just do that three more times. And boom, ladies and gentlemen, there's the finished product. 
you can see that's where we have our three knots. And yeah, let's put it on the, the old crate. For this is we're gonna have to drill a hole on either side of both of these. So I'm probably gonna do about five. And then that's where we'll pass our zip ties through. So let's cut those holes. I've got these holes drilled on the crate. It's time to start mounting the top part to the crate. I'm gonna zip up the zip tie. Snip the ends and boom, you've got yourself a kayak crate. All right, guys, thank you for watching. If you thought this was pretty cool, make sure to subscribe and we'll see you in the next video. Thanks for watching.